Hello everyone, Tony here. Welcome to our Monday Club. Hope you're all well and raring to get stuck into the latest mission. Today uh, it's, a, it's a, town, a, a townscape. We started with Wood Street six weeks ago. Was it five weeks? Now we're in Haworth. Working from a photo I took on a bright January day. It was lovely. Hard to think it was this year. Now this is Main Street. Looking uphill. We're all familiar with the Main Street in Haworth, but we normally stand at the top looking down. It's it's a fabulous view. This is this is slightly different. So uh, we've got a steep hill. This is toying with perspective a little bit. Uh, we've got a stack of gables, chimneys, chimney pots. The two cottages on the right. They're unusually low, so you're level with the eaves. You can actually reach over there and nearly touch them. Much to their annoyance. Uh, the, these gutters are horizontal on the view so that creates our imaginary horizon and all perspective lines will go down and touch that horizon line um, as these buildings curve round the bend so the building lines will point to the horizon line in a different position. That sounds complicated, I know, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do perspective later. So that's enough on that. The colours are predominantly Pennine sandstone. Uh, burnt umber is good for this, but sepia will do. But the striking colour is, is white. Uh, we have a white gable facing downhill, and the co these cottages are whitewashed, though so they're a bit, they're a bit dingy. Actually, they're a lot brighter than this. I I've, I've toned them down a little bit, and there's a little copse of trees further up the hill, and this breaks up the continuity of stonework. I've added leaves. I've added leaves to the trees for some colour. Also it gives you a definite break. The light is coming from behind to the left so there's strong shadows cast across the road. Right. Let's paint it. So I've... Um, this, this might be quite a long painting so I'll have to frequent breaks in because I'm limited to about 30 minutes on this camera. So what have I done? Uh, I've simplified it a bit. I thought this was a little bit complex. There's a lot going on there. I'd like to tone it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I've I've penciled these in. I've I've squeezed it up a little bit, so the cottages are a bit smaller. I'm guessing that um, I'll run the paint right through to this and crop it about here. Let's see how we go on. So I'm going to do the sky first, and I'm just putting some. Clear water on, actually, it's a bit dirty, but never mind. My water's always dirty. And. Did a bit of ultramarine. And a little bit of grey, tone it down a bit. So. Very simple. Mm. 
And I think that'll do. I'll just let that dry. Okay, so I'll pick up some burnt umber. I'll start painting these these cables in. I'll do them all the same colour to begin with. So this one is white, so I'm leaving that. I'll darken this later. There's a tree there. Slightly paler for this. I'm going to do this much darker because this is in shadow. And that seems crazy dark, but it will die, um, it will dry a little paler. We're running off. Off the scene at the moment. Okay, so that is dark and that's in shadow. I'll do this one darker. It's not in shadow, but I want to differentiate it from the one behind it. So it will make this white gable stand out. So these rooftops, even though they're in strong sunlight, they are very dark. I might argue. This paint is getting paler as I use it all up, which is fine. So that looks good. I'll carry on with this dark paint. Tiny bit of blue in this. These are cobbles. So I want, I want to differentiate. That'd be alright. Back with the uh, dark sunstone. Now the wall is paler, so I'm going to add a little bit of um, ochre. I'm 
Make some patches. So it's all very rough and ready at the moment. We will come down this low, I don't think, with the crop. And introduce a tiny bit of green in this wall frontage. Right, so this is just an undercoat. We'll make more sense of this later. So the rule, the wall turns around the corner. There's a standing stone there, and then it carries on. There's a bit of a railing across there. I'll leave that. Now I mentioned the trees, we'll put those in now. So that is focus green, and a bit of paint's grey. Might use a smaller brush for this. the same colour. Now it's running out but that's alright, it gives you a little bit dry dry brush character to the tree tree line. Okay. And do some rooftops, really dark. trees are still a bit wet and so it's running in, doesn't matter. I don't mind that. And this helps to delineate everything so you know what's what. Turn that down a bit. Okay. Right. So these houses, as they go around the corner, um, there's quite a st strong shadow. I'll put that on later. So I want to. and shed these houses just as we did on Wood Street.
So that looks very fuzzy. It will all come clear when I put some detail in, like um, windows and chimney pots and things like that. So it's quite a crisp edge to these these buildings to the edge of the roof tiles I'm going to come back to that detail. Bit of raw sienna. Paler colour. For these two chimney stacks. Burnt sienna for the chimney pots. We'll leave those, I think. These windows, bluey grey. This is like a sh some sort of takeaway. It's a shop window and a door. There's a shadow here. Because that wall is stepped back a little bit. So I'm doing a frontage here. a bit. That's too dark. That's better. This vintage. So these houses are like faceted as they go around the bend. I'm just highlighting the facets. the road as it goes round up the hill. A couple of details. I'm just filling in now. Okay. A bit of a fence here, it's quite pale. Now, these cottages, just creating a bit of space on the pallet. white but I want to turn that down a bit I'm 
And here's a bigger brush. So, slosh that on and a little bit of yellow ochre here and there. Touch it in here and there. This um, this cottage had a lot of the uh, rendering falling off, so I just put some blotches in here and there. Oh, well, it's still a little damp. Put the windows in. Probably grey again. Ooh, too damp. Much too damp. Let that dry. Okay, it's dried a bit. Ah, that's better. Perspective is tilting this these horizontals up a bit. a bit dark. I'm going to wipe, wipe some colour out. Replace that with a uh, lot of a bluey, few bluey lines. But this is a um, cobbled road, so it is a slightly different colour. The pavement. It's got curb stones. Large flagstones. So you just do a few here and there. It's a bit, a bit dark. Yeah, happy with that. So, how's the time? 24 minutes, so I'll have to crack on now. So what I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to go over, I'll just start us off, put some, very quickly, right, I'm going to go over it like that, it'll be different when you come back, okay, so I just added some, some details to the side of the houses, so it takes you round the bend nicely. Now I'm going to uh, um, add detail to this wall, 
So the, st the, st the stones stand out. These are round cappings catching the light, dark. Um, there's some green, some moss. So I'll do that. I'll have to turn you off now. It's quite a rough wall this. Now the, the pavement, it's got some uh, stonework already, so I'll just pick out one or two mortar lines. And as I complete this, I'll turn you off. Okay, so I added a few lines, as I said. Um, doing the same with these windows now. Actually, this window is much deeper. That's better. Actually, it disappears over the wall. So I could. Um, that wall further over. That's better. Okay. We've got pronounced gutters here. Big droopy things. In brackets. There's a fall pipe here. Now the edges of the um, these are quite critical. The edges of the stone roof. black so I'll switch off come back when this is done I'll quickly do the car the headlights are crucial with cars as long as it's got two headlights you can more or less do what you like it's also lots of highlights a bit black underneath. I'll turn you off. Okay, did that. Did the cars, sorry I missed it. And now I've only got a few seconds left, so if it clicks off, um, tune in next week for more fun. I'll just carry on. So I want this to be really dark. this shadow, deep shadow and there's a shadow 
going across all these houses. Okay. This gable is quite pale. That's done. Want a bit more shadow under this. And down here. 